Hello, it's Stephen Bedard, and I have three more of the Ten Commandments for your church to become disability friendly. The fourth commandment is to love the entire family. So you have a family come to your congregation, they have a family member with a disability, and you may want to focus completely on that person. And of course, it is good to spend a lot of time and energy to minister to that individual. But there is the rest of the family as well. There are needs for the parents. Maybe the parents need help with respite. Maybe there are other issues going on. What about the siblings? Maybe all of the attention is being put on the child with the disability and the parents have no energy left to uh, care for or to um, provide emotionally for the siblings. And that could be an area in which a congregation can minister. So even if you didn't feel comfortable uh, caring for someone with a, a significant disability, you might be able to take out the siblings and care for them, take them out to a movie or to a sports game or something like that. Love the entire family. The fifth commandment is to speak directly to the person with a disability. So imagine that that person uh, comes to your church one Sunday morning and they have a caregiver there with them, some sort of assistant. And it seems like the person with the disability may be nonverbal or maybe talks in a way that you can't quite understand. And so you feel more comfortable speaking to the assistant. Don't do that. Speak to the person with the disability. Even if the person seems to be nonverbal, speak to that person. That is the uh, polite and appropriate and respectful way to do things. It may be that the assistant will respond and might answer your questions, but look at the person with the disability and speak directly to them. The sixth commandment is to educate yourself about different disabilities. Uh, we talk about the disability community, but there really isn't just one disability community. The experience of someone who is deaf is going to be different from someone who is blind, from someone who has autism, from someone who has Down syndrome, from someone who is in a wheelchair. Uh, take some time to figure out what disabilities are like. Uh, there are different ways to look at disabilities. We have uh, people with physical disabilities, people with developmental disabilities, and then mental illness fits in there as well. All of these things are different. You're not going to become an expert at all of them, but take some time to educate yourself. There is so much information out there and you can at least learn a little bit about what disabilities are like. And just the fact that you show that you have taken the time to learn something will speak volumes to that person who comes and visits your church. Be watching for the next commandments of the Ten Commandments to become a disability-friendly church.